Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. Um I've literally just recorded this tutorial and it's um been a bit too long. It was about eleven minutes, which is quite long for a tutorial like this, so I'm gonna have to go a lot faster this time. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. Um basically I have a drawn up logo here. I prefer to draw my logos up than create them in Photoshop and uh then go on to um, cropping them in Photoshop and adding them in Cinema 4D. Um, I don't know why, I tend to do a better job when I'm drawing the logo and that's just how I do them. So once you've got your logo drawn up, if you decide to do it this way, you might decide to uh, create it out of trial and error in Photoshop. Um, but anyway, in this video we have a path to work with, so just go ahead and in this case crop around your drawn up logo. Uh, when creating a curve like this, um, such as, uh, it will do a automatic curve for you. So just by holding Alt and selecting this point, you can get rid of that, and uh, it will reset. So you can go wherever from that point. So yeah, let's just quickly get this cropped, and we will have our 2D logo. All right. So, once you've got this area cropped, you just uh, right click, fill path, and uh, maybe the colour should be on black or something if it's on a white background, OK. Uh, right click again and delete path. So now, you can go on and click the um, eye here to just unview the la layer. And uh, now, whatever um, things you would have cropped into the image itself, such as the eye, uh, you can go ahead and crop these so just going around the eye and then also this thing here okay so now view the layer again so you've got your black background uh, just right click make selection um, pixel zero ok and um, delete and just get rid of this um, selection so now we have basically one side of our logo so just to save time and um, I'm not going to crop the other side of course for a start it's drawn up so it's not going to be um, very even so it's just better just to do this alright not perfect but it will have to do so now merge these um, two layers um, depend on how many sections of your logo you have uh, in this case I only have two and basically you have your 2D logo here um, this is just a logo I've given away in one of my packs. Uh, I've already released this logo, and I didn't really use a logo that I'd made for someone else. Basically, uh, this is just a random choice. It's not like a, a logo I really like. Um, but now we have a uh, 2D uh, logo. So from this point, you can go to your uh, magic wand tool and select the logo. Um, oops. Right. And then, so basically it depends how many sections of your logo you might have. I have two so I'm just going to select one side. Hold um, shift and select the other side of the logo. And uh, once you've got the shape selected can go to paths and uh, select this little icon down here which will create your path um, now this isn't very accurate so if I had more time in this tutorial I would maybe go over it in the pen tool or go back to the original path that I actually cropped before filling it to show you guys the 2D logo I will just use that path um, but in this case it's just to save time we're just going to do a rough copy and I don't really like using this but um, it's okay, it's turned out okay. So now, file, export, and path to Illustrator. 
um, save it wherever you want. I'm just going to save this as a logo test. Save and um, then you can go um, to your Cinema 4D. As you can see I've already got it up here because I just did the tutorial but it took too long. So File. Uh, once you've got your lighting or whatever open, merge and uh, select the path you have just saved um, and OK. So here we have the path that we have just cropped out and from here you can go to this little thing here and add uh, extrude nerves, um, add two extrude nerves and um, and just extend the uh, logo just view the um, paths in it and just drag the paths up to these extrude nerves so now we've added both paths to them I only need two uh, your logo may be a bit more detailed you might have like 18 sections so yeah that's basically now in 3D so I'm just gonna hold control select both layers and uh, make the 3D a bit more clearer basically um, on the object tab here just change this to however many centimeters you might want that to be so I'm just going to add a quick uh, material and basically there you have it you might obviously want to go into a bit more detail uh, make it a bit nicer than this but I'm just going to quickly go ahead and render this over the last one. So, yes, okay. And yeah, it's looking quite nice actually. It's looking okay. So, back on Photoshop. Just going to delete that path. Yeah. Okay, and open your uh, logo that's not the same one logo test and um, yeah here we have uh, your 3d logo so you have your 3d logo and you have your 2d logo um, so that's basically it guys that's how I do my logos um, thank you guys for watching uh, hopefully I'll do tutorials a lot more regularly like I promised I would. I just haven't had the um, ideas of what to do the tutorials on. So um, I do enjoy making these tutorials. So, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, goodbye.